All right, folks, the deck is anti-meta hand buff paladin. The goal of the deck is to play like a traditional hand buff paladin, but we've got some sweet tools against Questline Hunter and Ignite Mage in particular in Robes of Protection and Cobalt Monk, as well as plenty of healing so that we can offset some of the damage done by Pirate Warriors. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Raffle. Watch this! This looks like a pretty good hand. Play this, coin this, play this. Get lots of cards and uh, some buffs. All right, looks like potentially another big priest. Not ideal. Good coin the smugglers run if I want to make a play that makes no sense. And before they add a hero card for each mercenary. I mean, I already predict predicted that at the beginning of last expansion, that the third expansion would have hero cards as for each mercenary. Orin's at four with Oaken Summon seems a bit scary. Are you trolling? I need to find a way to block out their mana for a turn. For now, though, we just go here to try and hit the Lothab or Neophyte. It's a big hand, but not many chargers on it just yet. What was your reason for not including Mule? I didn't think it was one of the 30 best cards. Haunt is rather meaningless in the current metagame, and in particular against the decks that I'm trying to beat. Why didn't they play that last turn? They had it. Did they not have the essence? Uh, really, it's Neophyte? That's really bad for me. At least I've got chonky minions. Wait, they just don't have the essence. Okay. Or maybe it's not even Big Priest and it's like Miracle Priest. Like it could be. Either way, I drew the Lotheb, so happy about that. Is this worth? Where does this put them? So I'm at 20. Next turn we have uh, another 10, 15 with a buff we get there. Not quite, because they will likely heal. I think it's still probably good. I have other Lotheb type effects. They just reduced a lot of cards in hand. I might as well block it. It's also going into the theoretical auctioneer turn if it is Miracle Priest. So 20 or 15, 19, not there, but Neophyte helps. They should still be able to play the um, Essence if they have it, but... Uh, the reason I played this... Oh, God. Is so that I could get buffs for the uh, Horse Rider. Or seven. I'm two off now. Thamara's pretty jacked here. Like, he can push his way through uh, even a blood board. <laughs> Stop playing spells! You need a taunt! Or at least clearing this. You have chosen unwisely. 
Oh my god. Two hours. We got a quest line, Hunter. Keep this. I need to find the robes, and this just draws me cards, so drawing cards is my priority right now. Banana Man is good. But... I want to get the robes and the, um... Cobalt Monk down as quickly as I can. Wait, it's not even odd. That might mean there are any more minions. Those are really good after the Tavish, so happy to see them just get thrown away like that. It's gonna go here. Buff the uh, Kobold, hope that this hits a um, Robes next turn. Did they just forget Baku? Turn, I can go here, here. I'm drawing a boatload of cards, and that's what I need to do. Because I need to get the robes down before the uh, before the kobold. Otherwise, they just kill the kobold with the hero power. Okay. Just keep drawing. Like, I know those can't draw the um, the robes, but they thin my deck to get me closer to the robes, at least. That can lead with this next turn. And hit the Samuro and the... Uh, um, vicious Scalehide. Use the Scalehide to trade into that. Rebuke is good. If I had just rebuke this turn instead. Deny the last tick on the quest, or prevent them from playing the Tavish alongside the quest. Oh god, am I gonna get sniped by a, um, just an errant, uh, Dragonbane? Just gonna pick off the robes. Can't wait for that to happen. This would be a punt. Seems unnecessary. Don't worry, love. The cavalry's here. So we are healing. The problem is, I guess it's harder to OTK me now than um, if they were odd. seems like a really bad time to play that. Second monk. Don't worry, love. The cavalry. Don't feel very much at risk of dying here, but I still just would very much like to draw the robes. I bet they would like those uh, trackings that they used early in the game. Seem like they would be helpful right now. Oof. 
That's pretty awful right now. Next turn, I'll go in on the baby monk and then save this one. Nice. Uh, for when we have the robes. Yeah, the here power is only dealing two is very bad for them, especially because like it would normally just be two hero powers and they get the Cobalt Monk dead. Can I please get a robes of protection though? I don't know how much longer I can hold out if they They've played both quick shots at least, and both mana feeders. So I didn't have to kill that next turn. Just let me have this. I'm gonna kill them before I ever draw robes. Today is just not my day. Can't queue into the right deck, can't draw the right cards when I finally do. I guess I shouldn't complain too much, I did win the game, but... I was looking for chargers there. I don't know if I'm just gonna let this rip on turn one. I'd rather find a Christology. I think I'm gonna greet it for after the pride. Or at least after the first one. Oh, I was expecting even. Well, the lifesteal is going to come in handy because I'm getting way behind. Oh, that's a relief. Mm. Banana Man next turn. Go here and here probably, or maybe hit a broom off of this and swing it back. If I hit a broom I, off of this, I could actually go uh, ride and uh, broom and that would maybe set me up a little bit better. Room? Oh god. Get fisted, nerd. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. This is manageable. More buffs for this. So, I think I can swing this back. I just need to avoid being too greedy. I know they have five or man next turn. Right. Here, here. Let me here, here. 
just here, here. That's way too weak. Gotta take this off the board. No, I need to take that off the board. Unless I get double fist or a second fist here, I should be fine. I'm trying to make that. Oh. Really, it's not too heavy. They happen, you know. Okay, they lost to one of their dumb guards, so that limits their burst. Ooh. I think I can pull this out. Oh! Got fisted. Six, six. Let's go here. Five is an important breakpoint, because it is not four. But they're out of soul fires and fists, so these are relatively safe. The only thing that kills it is a doom guard, but then I just get to um, like catacomb guard the rest of it. Wow, just pure blanks. Oh, I forgot about matron. Oof. At this rate, it's going to fatigue. <laughs> so they have Tiny Knight left. It's honestly not that good for them, is it? I don't like giving up my burst like this, but I also don't like leaving them with a 4-2 uh, on the board. I don't think we're getting to fatigue. Just need to find a banana man. Well, maybe we are. Which one is the Banana Man? The one whose card deck says Banana Man. Alliance Banana Man. Hey, you were just a oh god, don't be a... Oh, it's just an elaborate concede. Yes, I do. None oh, maybe it is. Alright. Got the rebuke, but I need the uh I need the other pieces. I don't think this is the time for the rebuke. 
the first phase doesn't matter too much, but uh, Banana Man can get me. I need robes and... Uh, I need to find the monk still, so... Still gotta draw the pieces for this to work. Next turn, I probably just need to go here and here to deny further quest progress. Cause I really don't. Oh no. Okay, that's good. What does that mean? Voracious reader. Yeah, I don't want them to get to the zero mana hero power next turn. Beardo or tradable? Yeah, good call. Beardo is likely. Lothab is great. Since I know they have the Beardo in hand, does that just mean I need to hold for a turn? I think so. No Beardo. Need to draw. Need to draw so that I can get to the uh, robes. Robes are the only card that matter. This prevents them from playing any spell this turn. Same thing. Or they can play a one mana spell next turn with the uh both of room. Room is great. Just having minions on their board pretty bad for me. Because that's the only way they can get into the uh uh the robes. The tarantulas are kinda concerning as well. Probably going to get the Tapish down this turn, and I do not have either of the cards that I need to win this game, so not looking good. Well, no Tavish this turn. Well, that's something. But it also means I could just die next turn without... Uh, I guess I don't die, but... I am unlikely to be in a good spot. Uh, all four of the pieces that I need are in the bottom half of my deck. But at least we've applied enough pressure to keep them on the back foot. Have you no respect for the dead? Reporting for duty. want to maximize damage there. I don't have many turns left of either living or the opponent living.
Hey, Ryo. I've been dead here. I don't know what their hand is, but it seems possible. Did I even draw anything? Draws a, a singular catacomb guard. Maybe that was too passive. I should have just played the Samuro for tempo. I tunneled in on the healing. They're out of power shots, though. And they do have minions, so... Boy, is that ever a minion. At least we've got one of the pieces. They can't kill us this turn now, right? Reporting for duty. Job done. Yeah, I don't see how they clear this without any more... Uh... Power shots, maybe a wound prey can pretend like it does anything. Peace. <laughs> Feel like they had lethal there? I mean, they couldn't target my face with the Cobalt Monk. Reporting for duty. I just need to hit the Chill Blade. And I feel like they should just play those, right? Like, is 6 damage this turn really much better than 4 damage repeatable? Wait. The sticks? Okay. Just don't die. They can't play 5 spells, right? Monk works too. They could kill the monk, though. They can't, like, it's more important to get the robes. Oh my god. <laughs> Why was this so stressful? This should have been a free win! Well played. Well played. Oh, good, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't have drawn that last turn? Alright. I mean, that's gotta be it. It's been three hours and I faced two and a half questline hunters. Like, <laughs> I cannot keep putting myself through that. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, Gian Rusi, HS Battlefly, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Horback, Noggleshire, St. Arthur, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Vanfix.